Yes, YouTube, here we are, the big one. So we've just packed car up, Wasdale Head Car Park. Time to tackle Scarfell Pike. Well, I hope I'm ready for this one. I've only been walking five minutes on car park. Huffing and puffing already. Well, I guess most people would with these gigantic backpacks. Half an house on my back. There he goes. I bet he's glad I lent him that stick. <laughs> I'd love to show you views, but I don't want to in case he falls. <laughs> So I'm going to guess that we're about a quarter way up and we've given ourselves about three and a half, four hours to get up here, which shouldn't be an issue. Although when you look back, we only started near that water down there and you've got no chance of seeing it stop. Past halfway now, at least. Or at least I hope. You can just see washed water in the background. Only just. I've not been doing as much talking to the camera as I'd like, but it's knackering stuff walking up here. And every time you're thinking at the top, there's another big bit to get up falsesummit.com
nearly there now, I hope. Still can't see it's off yet. Okay, Ben, I'm going for it. See how steep this was, but just didn't come across on camera at all. But I've come a long way. Well, there it is up there. The summit of Scarfell Pike. This is a voiceover again because, as you can imagine, pretty windy up there, so the audio is inaudible. Picture perfect views from whichever way you look. So, finally done it. Sick. Summit of Scarfell Pike. It's pretty quiet up here now, considering the amount of people we've seen coming down. Surprise! Yeah, let's take the mission on, find somewhere to camp. That'll do for me. Well, could be worse places to picture. Eh? Banging spot is that. That'll do tonight. Up oh, there beyond the mist is Scarfell Pike. Highest mountain in England. Absolutely smashed it. Right, I'm gonna show you a little mod that I've done to my pillow. I'll whack it out here. I've got a pillowcase. Cut it in half. Cut some holes there to put strap through. I'm going to blow it up. Look at that. Beautiful. It stays in place. Strap goes through there, which goes around me. Air mat. Can't beat that. Fog's coming in crazy, so looks like a sunset isn't happening tonight, unfortunately. But I'll be setting my alarm for 4.45 to get up, maybe half four. Don't mind the um, washing line I've got going on. Drying my socks out, sweaty socks right next to my head. This is a little mod I've done for nature track. Cut a little hole there. guy line up there, a bit of paracord, whatever it is. Wrapped around where lantern goes. A little washing line, dry my socks out. I'll do. Got a Spence tent. About to get Scran on. Oh, me. 
dust off of it. Alright, so in here I've got a macaroni cheese and I've chopped up one of the Madison sausages. So what you do is just whack that straight in there. Fill it up with water. Don't know how much water. That'll do. Some people boil it first, but See, that's a waste of gas. It might as well be in there while it's warming up. Gas on. There we are, gas them. See, they're bubbling away nicely, so the water's boiled. So you want to give it a few minutes after it's fully boiled before opening it. In fact, water's going a bit mental, so I'll tip a bit of water out. Not nice to waste it, but... See, bubblicious now. Bubbling away. Definitely going to try that soon. Glasses are steaming up. Let's see what crack is. She's warm, lunch. How did you do that? Good stir around in there. Get all shit from bottom. Right, that's cooked for me, is that because water started splattering everywhere. I don't want it bloody watering thing down. Put this knife away. And I'm just gonna eat it with the water in there. And then if water's still boiled, I'll make a brew. Like I said, it's basically just macaroni cheese from a tin, Heinz, with some Madison sausage chopped up. That tin. Yeah, mine's hot, mate. Wow. That shouldn't sit long at all. Brought enough hot chocolates for buddy. 5,000, man. Are we ready to climb back up Scarfell Pike after this? Bag of shit. No, it's obviously not. Brownies, mate. Banging. It's got to mean it's ready, hasn't it? He's tapping up there, jeez. That light is proper bright, man. 
try to dull it down a bit. I got my brew on go. Can't see it. Them socks, man. Can't keep them in the back of the video. Oh, these are just sweaty socks dangling right next to my nose. Fresh merch, mate. Did printing wrong way around. It's supposed to be black background with white writing. Bloody balls it right up. Right, I'll try to show you what scram we've brought. So we've got a ice latte, protein coffee, stag, classic chili con carne. A bag of goodies. Bag of brownies. I've got Quaker porridge to go, golden syrup. This is all from Ben. Another one of them Quakers, porridge to go. Crazy these. What's this? Warrior. Warrior raw protein flapjack. They're ruthless then, ready for mountains. And then this one. Crunch. Warrior crunch. Low sugar bar. But these cost a bit. Ooh, forgot about this. Beef jerky. Proper scram there. Ready to eat. Plenty to keep us going, put it that way. Right, I need to tidy all this up because it's getting a bit of a mess in here. There's shit all over the gaff. And then I'll catch up with you before I go to sleep. Peace out. Right, all wrapped up in bed now. Not much else to say really, but I'm pretty comfy. Rain's just started as well. But I don't mind rain when I'm going to sleep. Good sound on tent, as usual, unless anything mental happens. I'll catch you in the morning. Peace out, in a bit. Morning. Not the greatest sleep, not gonna lie. As you might be able to tell, it's a bit rainy, windy. To be honest, it's pissing it down. I don't want to get up really. Gail Platt up in here. Isn't it? I think Ben's still asleep. They don't calms any. Double dropped on calms. I need to remember, I'm on holiday. This weather's crazy. So we'll have to see what happens. Still got to get down rest of Scarfell Pike yet. Not even far from the top. Which probably explains the wind, really. Right. In a bit.
squat down from Scarfell Pike on his way down back to Wastwater. I've not got the mic on, so there might be quite a bit of wind. It's been absolutely pissing it down, so I didn't want to risk it getting wet like everything else. Not been able to see all, all the way down because of all the fog and mist, clouds, whatever they are. But it's cleared up now. And when I say cleared up, I mean not fully cleared up. But I can see past the end of my nose now. Back to the car now, so we're gonna call it a day. Head back to Bradford. It's got like 80% chance of rain all day. We're already piss wet through. Tend to piss wet through. And yeah, it gets a bit slippy up there, so full of mist, so there's gonna be no views anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I do advise anyone to get out and try it. Scarfell Pike. It's one to remember, I tell you that. Especially camping on it. But yeah, if you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you click that bell notification, then you'll get notified when I upload more of these sort of videos. So yeah, I'm going camping again in a couple of days, so there'll be another video out soon. Thank you for watching. Click up here to subscribe. All that good shit. Right in a bit.